Conserving our environment. Soil. In grade 3 environmental activities, we learned about the different types of soils. We learned about loam, clay, and sand soils. Do you remember which soil had fine particles and which had large particles? Soil particles. Types of soil. Activity 1. Look at the pictures below. In groups, collect soil samples from your local environment. Loam, sand, clay. Activity 2. Put clay soil in a sieve as shown in picture A. Shake. Observe the amount of particles that passed through the sieve. Repeat with loam soil as shown in picture B. Repeat with sand soil as shown in picture C. Which soil passed a lot of particles through the sieve? Which soil passed the least particles through the sieve? There are three main types of soils. Clay, loam, and sand. Soil particles vary in size. Clay has the finest particles. Sand has the largest particles. The ability of soil to hold water. Activity 3. In groups of five, conduct an experiment to observe how clay, loam, and sand soils hold water. Cut out the bottom of three empty plastic water bottles to make funnels and mount the funnels on three empty jars as shown below. Fill each funnel halfway with soil as follows. Funnel A with clay. Funnel B with sand. Funnel C with loam. Add equal amount of water in each of them and observe. Activity 4. Which of the soils allowed a lot of water to pass through? Which of the soils allowed the least amount of water to pass through? Soil that has small particles hold a lot of water. Soil that has large particles hold very little water. Sand soil passed a lot of water and held very little water. Clay. The soil is sticky to touch when wet. The particles are very small, making it hold water for long. Loam. This soil holds water well, but also lets out some. This is the best type of soil for growing most crops. Sand. This soil does not hold water well. It has large particles. Physical properties of different types of soil. Activity 5. Visit a nearby farm. What type of soil did you find in the farm? Did you find crops growing well? Fill in the table using the options provided at the bottom of the table. Activity 6. Take home. Name the three main types of soil. Uses of soil in farming. Let us talk. What do you think would happen if there was no soil? Tell your friend the uses of soil in farming. Activity 7. In groups, list down different types of crops that are grown in your locality. What importance of soil? The following are the important uses of soil. It provides plants with a surface that helps them to stand firm. It stores water which is used by animals and plants. It stores air for use by both plants and other organisms in the soil.
It stores different types of minerals and nutrients used by plants. Activity 8. Identify types of soil suitable for each crop in the photo below. Relationship between ability to hold water and uses of soil. Clay soil has very small particles which make it hold a lot of water. Crops such as rice that need a lot of water grow well in this type of soil. Sun soil has large particles. It holds very little amount of water. Crops such as coconut that need little amount of water grow well in this type of soil. Loam soil has medium sized particles which make it retain some water. Loam soil is good for crops like maize, beans, wheat, millet, among others. Activity 9. Look at the photos below. On which type of soil do you think the crops were grown? Soil is very important for farming. Almost all the crops grow and mature in the soil. It provides support for crops by holding firm the roots of plants. Soil provides nutrients for plants. Animals such as cattle and goats eat the grass. Grass grows in the soil. Soil is home to many animals like moles, mice and some insects. Compost manure. Compost manure is made by gathering plant materials such as leaves, grass, kitchen waste and letting them decompose. Animal wastes, some water, some ash and soil are also added. Materials for making compost manure. Activity 10. Look at the photos below and identify the materials. Where are these materials found? Dry leaves, paper waste, farm and kitchen waste. Chicken droppings, grass, cattle dung. Compost manure is made of decomposed plants and animal waste. It produces organic manure which is used by crops. Compost manure preparation. What are the best materials for making compost manure? Talk to your group members about materials you think are good for making compost manure. Steps in preparing compost manure. Collect required materials such as dry matter, maize stalk, dry grass, sugarcane leaves, and dry bean stalk, green leaves, ashes, animal waste, cattle dung, poultry droppings, and water. Select a suitable site. Level the ground. Spread the dry matter and add the animal waste on top of the dry matter and then put the green leaves. Add a small layer of ashes. Cover with a thin layer of soil and sprinkle some water to make the materials moist. Leave the compost heap for the materials to decompose. You may sprinkle some little water when you find it is too dry. Activity 11. In groups, walk around the school environment and collect suitable materials for making compost manure. In groups, make compost manure following the instructions of your teacher. Importance of compost manure. The importance of compost manure include, it is easy and cheap to make and can be made on the farm. It slowly releases plant nutrients into the soil. It reduces the use of artificial fertilizers and chemicals. 
Activity 12. In groups, discuss how compost manure is in your locality. Compost manure is decomposed plant and animal waste. It is high in plant nutrients. To have a healthy garden that's mostly weed-free, you need to use composted manures. It's also important to not transfer bacteria onto your plants in your garden. So start by finding somebody with a horse, unless you're lucky enough to have your own, and offer to clean out their paddock or their barn of all their manure. Fresher the better. Um, collect it all up. 